Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 21 of our Unity Make an RPG series, and today I'm going to finish up uh, our leveling script and our add experience script, and uh, then explain to you what I'm going to be moving on to, and uh, just kind of give you an update on my schedule for work. So, um, what we did last time was we created a uh, level up script that controlled how our character leveled up and what happened when they actually leveled up. And what I didn't do last time was show you guys how to actually call that script, uh, that function in our increase experience script if we leveled up. So go ahead and open up the increase experience and level up script in the mono develop and we'll take a look at it. So in our increase experience script, right now it's set up so it's a static class that can be accessed anywhere uh, throughout the program and which is perfect for what we want but there's one thing that can't be done is is that when we come down to our private stack check to see if the player level if the player does level nothing happens even though we wrote a script for it so what we need to do is go up to the top and you're gonna write a private static uh, private static and the variable is gonna be actually of type level up and this is the class that we're calling right now and we'll just give it a name and we'll call it level up script And then you need to set it equal to a new instance of that class, which is uh, you, you use the keyword new, and then you type up the you type the class name level up at parentheses and a semicolon, control S to save. And right now we've created a new instance of this level up class, and we're saving it's being stored or cached into this level up script uh, variable. So now. In our check to see if player leveled uh, function, we can go down here and call that level up script, and we can access anything that's public in that uh, class. So if you remember, our level up player or level up character function is public, and you can call it. So you call it like a normal function. You do level up character parentheses semicolon. So I'm going to control S to save. I'm going to excuse me. I'm going to go back to our level up script, and I'm going to show you. Uh, here, this is the only private function. The other two functions are, pr are only public function. The other two are private. Therefore, you can't access them with, uh, outside of the uh, script. So, and to show you, just to show you that, I'm going to create a public variable here, and I'm going to call it. Uh, it's going to be an integer. It's going to be a max player level. We'll set it to I don't know ten for. We'll set it to fifty for now. Controls to save. I'm going to go back in uh, to increase experience, and I just want to come down and show you that we can still access it. And see, now it's right here. It allows us to read it and write to it if we wanted because it's a public variable. If it was private, you wouldn't see it. So I'm going to erase that. Controls to save. Uh, so now we're accessing the script. So when we add experience, however you do that, so like I said, in our uh, battle system, uh, I, I call the script to say, okay, increase experience, add experience. So that when it adds experience, it's going to come to our increase experience. It's going to run this script. It's going to give us a 100 XP, and it's going to add it to our current XP, and then we're going to check to see if we leveled. Here, we see, um, we, we come down, it runs this function here. This is where we actually physic or actually check to see if the character leveled. Uh, if they did, we're going to call the level up character, which takes us to our level up script and runs uh, through these uh, functions or whatever you've added. There's one thing that we need to do, which actually is the most important, and that's actually increase our player level. And what we're going to do for that is you're going to go if game information dot player level is less than our max player level, which is that variable we created to show you to test. Or to show uh, public versus uh, private. So basically, we're saying if our player level is less than our max allowable pl uh, player level, then we're going to increase our player level. So this is shorthand for saying uh, game information player level is now equal to player level plus one. That's what this plus equals one is. So you control S. And then we're going to create an else statement, and this is just going to be a catch-all. Basically, if we are, if our level is greater than or equal to max player level, then we're never going to, we're not going to increase our level anymore. And that's just to make sure that 
again that nothing weird happens and we go over uh, somehow. So else uh, game information level is equal to max level. Controls to save. I'm going to go to Unity. We shouldn't have any errors and we don't, which is perfect. So just a quick rundown of what we did is in our increased experience, I created a new uh, variable. It's called level up script and it uh, creates a new instance of our level up function or a new le our level up class, excuse me, so that we can access our level up character function. Uh, in our check to see player level, we call that function using level up script dot level up character. It calls that function and then it runs it. Then we also added this uh, check to see if what our level is and then increase it by one when we do level up. So that's all I wanted to cover for uh, leveling up. Basically, this is like the super basics of it. Uh, again, you guys can come up with your own crazy formulas if you have them or algorithms uh, for experience gains. You can use the same class structure for several different uh, components of your game, questing, ach achievements. Uh, maybe you have some unique system that you don't want to talk about, but this is like the perfect setup for that. You know, this is used throughout all kinds of object oriented programming. So then what I want to do now for the next few video the next videos is uh, go back to our character creation and get in, in more in depth with those stats uh, get a little bit more in depth with the stats and stat allocation allowing you to put stats where you want and then actually create the character so it's in the game world so that character <coughs> excuse me so that character script that or the character movement script we used last time will actually be moving around our uh, in-game character instead of just a capsule. Uh, I think I need to go back to and kind of start from the beginning like a game would start and work through those systems. I tend to jump around a lot and I'm sorry for that uh, but that's usually how I program. I usually jump around to different uh, systems I think it would be interesting to work on and uh, get going but I'm going to try to be more, a little bit more structured about it. But otherwise that will be in the next video. Uh, that next video should be out tomorrow. This one will be out, well hopefully that one will be out tomorrow or should be. Uh, Anyways, for my work schedule, I'm going to be uh, traveling again over the week. Uh, over the weekend, um, I'll be gone for six weeks, but I'll still be posting. I'm going to be trying to post as many videos as I can. I have some uh, training to do, uh, and then I'll be moving. When I'll be moving in the beginning of July, and I won't be able to post videos probably for about a week uh, at the beginning of July, just because of the move. But anyways, I appreciate all the support, the comments, the subscribers. I can't believe I'm already over 50. It's amazing. Uh, please keep watching, and please keep leaving feedback. It's wonderful. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.